<laughs> Guys, this is Kimberly, Hello. aka Dr. Love. That's your new name. My life be like. Wow. Yeah. This is Faith, right over here. Hi. And this is the gorgeous ring light we are using <laughs> that I need to buy because if you get really close, look at like your eyes turn into. It just looks really glam. <laughs> Give this like, let me know in the comments below if you think I should get this and I should shoot some more videos and something like that. Oh my god. Um, anyway, so we are shooting for the first time. Remember how I asked you guys for like advice and you know what kind of videos I should do? And there was like an overwhelming response of answers. So I'm kind of taking one thing at a time, and one thing that I'm going to start doing a little bit more of is perhaps. I might do a few skits here and there. Now, we're going to be doing one on Kim's channel now, which is going to be a skit. So it's kind of like I'm getting my feet wet, and that's gonna come out in a little while because skits take like a lot more time. But in the meantime, we're also shooting a video for my channel, hence why I have, ooh, my happy mug. So anyways, you have that to look forward to. But other than that, um, we're gonna go do that now. And next shot you're gonna see me is at the Raptors game, cause Patrick got me a ticket and I'm gonna be sitting with his parents. So yes, let's go there. Okay, so I know I was going to get back on camera when I'm at the Raptors game, but something really, really crazy just happened right now. Um, I was on the subway and there was this guy and he was staring at me and I got uncomfortable so I looked away and he ended up getting off at the same stop as I did and when I got off he was almost like watching to see which way I would go and he's like take off your headphones and I'm like oh, okay and he stopped me and he was like um, something really positive is going to happen to you in July very very good and I was like oh like okay and he, he said in love I'm like, oh, okay. And he said that right now there's somebody older and younger that likes me, apparently. Um, but I am still, my heart still hurts, he said, about something. And he could tell, he was like, when he goes, uh, your birthday is in June. He knew it. And he basically said, July, he said, you don't need, um, what did he say? I don't need food or finances. He's like, that's not what's on your mind. He said, you're thinking a lot, but it's not about that. It's about uh, your heart. And uh, and July is going to be a very, very good, good month for you. And he was like the most calm man from India, gentle, and I ended up like, you know when you like go to leave each other and just like, bye. Well, like we, I said bye, and then I kept bumping into him, and then we ended up just walking together for like a solid five, ten minutes. And he, um, he told me that yeah, he travels all over the world, and he practices meditation, and he's a life coach, and uh, he gave me his number, and I was like, what's the name? I should put it under. He said, just Guru. Just write Guru and take down the Guru's number. But I swear to God, I think he's a guru. I think there's some sort of weird like, cause even I, when I first saw him, I was like, whoa. And he said, I have a good aura. And like, he kept going like this. And he said, there's good karma. And it was weird. It was so, it was just like, normally I don't get that stuff. And like, I, I think it's, it's like hokey, but because it was so random and he scouted me out like an angel, it felt real. Ah, it's like touched by an angel. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go get ready for the Raptors game now. I just wanted to share that story with you, and so if something happens in July, well, you know why.
awesome. Yeah, it's over. It's done. No more Patrick in the vlog. No more Patrick's mama in the vlog. That's a wrap. You won't see me anymore for a long That's time. That's a wrap. No pun intended. All right, let go. Hello, Matt. Oh, hey. Come on up. Where are you Enjoy taking me? Where are you taking me? The Much Digital Studios one year anniversary party. It's been a whole year? Oh my gosh. And I'm not signing them, but they just really like me. There you go. This is Stuart, Hello. and this is who I'm going to be working today with because uh, we're at the CBC Music Festival where they have all these great big bands come to perform, and I'm going to be doing something cool, which is uh, I'll be talking live on Facebook. We're doing a Facebook live stream, uh, but I can show you this is like this is before the chaos, but this is some of the stuff that's going on. We're at the uh, Molson Canadian Amphitheater. So let me go and show you. All right, so this is the box that I am doing live interviews in. Uh, it is so hot, I just did two. One of them was his maestro, you can see the back of his jersey saying Maestro Fresh West. Uh, I am fixing, can you see that? Wow. Anyway, uh, it's really fun, and I mean, how else should I spend the day than talking about music and hanging out in the sun? It's pretty great. Especially in Toronto, you don't get these days. I officially found the weirdest music I've ever heard in my life. This girl sings with her throat. It's, it's interesting. He sounds like a little kid that like didn't get a candy and he's like really angry about it. Sunday guys today I thought I was gonna have a nothing day you know like I actually wrote in my planner do nothing my throat kind of hurts right here <sighs> do you hear the song that's playing I can only put it on for so long because it's copyright I love this song what's his name Luke Graham or something What's his name? Lucas Graham. Really good. But I'm gonna I'm gonna shut it off so I don't get hit with a bunch of copyright claims. Okay. So yeah, I was pretty tired today. Um, and I was going to do nothing. That was on the plan. I was like, I'm not doing anything. And uh, but uh, my friend JT, who plays for the Raptors. And he actually just came here about two months ago. He got traded here, or actually he chose to come here from Sacramento Kings where he was at for like five years, I believe. And we met after that big, huge win, remember game seven? So we met actually not very long ago. Um, and the first time I met him, he mentioned how one day he would love to have a sex and relationship show. And instantly I was like, oh my God, well we have to make a YouTube video, that's hilarious. And uh, yeah, he's super nice, new friend of mine, so he's coming over in a couple minutes. Um, the reason why I ended up doing this on my do nothing day is because he is gonna be leaving soon. All the Raptors are going back to their homes um, during the off season. So really, I don't have much time. So I was like, you know what, let's just do it today. It's a beautiful day out. I don't know, it's obviously blown out, but uh, the sun is shining, which is great. And uh, yeah, hopefully this, this throat hurtness is gonna go away. It's probably a combination of screaming at the Beyonce concert, screaming at the Raptors concert, and then the music festival yesterday. Ugh. It's all gonna be good. Uh, yeah, so let me introduce you to JT. Hey guys, look, it's JT. What up? I just, I told them all about you and how you were coming over. Did you say good things? Mm, I guess you're gonna have to watch and find out. Now we're just hanging out. He is eating nuts. Oh, wow. Are you <laughs> kidding me? 
<laughs> don't, believe, don't believe the hype. Uh, and we're gonna go see a movie tonight. What movie are we gonna go see? Um, oh, X, the new X-Men movie. Have you seen it? If you have, tell me what you think. My guess is that it's not gonna be great. I just saw Civil War. You like Civil War? What would you Pretty rate good. it? I thought it was out of 10, I'd give it a, like a 6.5, 7. Really? People loved it. I'm not the one of those Wow. People. I would have given it. I yeah. thought that the, the one part where they were at the uh, the airport fighting, it was a little too cheesy. And it when was it random. Been more, when it should have been more serious. Yeah. I felt like there wasn't like a crazy story to it. You know? I, I thought everything was good. But that, that scene where I thought it could have had the most action, they were like making jokes while they were like beating each other up. <laughs> Fair. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go watch X-Men and I will let you know what I think after. Yeah. Okay. So, I just came back from X-Men, and oh my god, my head is just pounding right now. Uh, I didn't have really high expectations going into the movie, but I will say, I enjoyed it. I thought I enjoyed the storyline, I enjoyed all the different character developments in it, I liked it! So, if you've seen it, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Um, I'm gonna keep this really, really short, because you know when you feel like you've got a headache, like just overriding right here? that's going on and it's really not fun so i'm actually and i have no advil in the entire apartment so i'm gonna go out and get some advil um but yeah thank you so much for watching this vlog uh i didn't you know what there was one thing i noticed that i didn't do in last week's vlog or the last whatever a couple days ago um i didn't thank you for all of your comments about you know what you would like to see with the q and a's and all that stuff i want to say thank you I love it when you comment, I love it when you share, you know, your insights and what you like, what you don't like, what I could change, all that stuff. I love just communicating with you. Um, again, thank you to all the different fan clubs that are making collages and all that cute stuff. Honestly, it's been brightening my whole entire weekend, so I appreciate it. Uh, I guess it's Monday, so it's time to get your hustle on, you know. Oh. And I will see you on Friday with a brand new vlog. Bye guys.